Hi guys, so for a long time now I wanted to make a playlist, a video playlist, with all the lavender varieties that we have at the farm. So I think this is a good thing because probably a lot of you don't have such a big space, such a big garden, and maybe you still want to buy a lavender, but uh, you don't want to get the big lavenders, and maybe you want to buy the small lavenders. So here at the farm we have I think 20 varieties of lavender and I will probably make a video for each and every single one of them uh, for you to choose the right type for your garden even if you want to grow it in a container or if you want to grow it in the ground I'm going to try to help you pick your uh, special lavender for your home so my first one on this list is Lavandula angustifolia little lady so this variety of a lavender, it's a small variety and it doesn't grow bigger than uh, probably I think seven, 17 centimeters. So now this lavender is in uh, the fourth year and probably it, it reaches, it's reached uh, the maturity of the plant. So uh, now it's only probably 17 centimeters with all the stems. So this type of uh, lavender, uh, it's suitable even for containers and small gardens or probably if you want to make a border out of them, they are suitable for that. So this lavender uh, has uh, a lot of particularities that I love. So this lavender is uh, among the first to bloom. Uh, Little Lady uh, and Folgate and Imperial Gem and probably Munstead, they are the first to bloom. These types of angustifolia uh, are blooming, at least in our zone 6b, at the beginning of June and of May. But this uh, difference from year to year, uh, it, and it depends on the weather conditions. So this lavender, as I told you, uh, I like it because it blooms among the first. And... Uh, the, the, the shape of the lavender, it's perfectly round. I told you uh, a lot of lavenders, so, uh, if you want to uh, keep them mound and compact, you have to prune them very harsh for them to grow exactly the same. Well, it's not the case with this lavender. Little Lady uh, Lavender uh, has this uh, kind of shape that is perfectly round after you prune it. In the beginning when it blooms, the blooms are white. So a lot of people, they are saying, oh, maybe I, I bought a white lavender. And I don't know if you can see, but I'm going to show you uh, up close how the lavender looks like. Uh, in the beginning when it blooms, the blooms are uh, almost white. And then when uh, they are opening, they have this light purple color. And because the blooms of the bud are so close, when you watch this lavender, not from up close, but just a little far away, you almost cannot see the foliage of the plant. So it's like uh, the, the plant is covered with blooms. And I really love, I really enjoy this type of a plant. So this, uh, this lavender, it's not uh, the dark purple of uh, even, even Munstead or uh, even Folgate or uh, the most dark that we have here, their Im imperial gem. But uh, this lavender, uh, it's, uh, it's particularly cute because of these white buds and violet uh, flowers. Uh, as pruning, this plant, it needs to be pruned exactly after you uh, harvested or uh, maybe after the buds have passed because I, th I don't think all, all of you are harvesting lavender to make oil uh, or bunches like me. So I just let this plant bloom and then after the blooms are going and they are getting brown or gray, I just gave it a little, a little trim and then in the fall, like uh, two months uh, before the first frost, I will give it just a little, a little shape uh, to keep it compacted and mound. What I like about this plant, uh, about uh, besides the fact that it's perfectly round, it's that uh, the foliage of this plant is always uh, there. In, uh, this plant doesn't lose the leaves in the fall and of course in the winter and it starts of uh, being green and then as it goes into the winter the foliage turns into uh, a silver gray color and it's a beautiful sight for this lavender even in the winter so it's not only in the in the summer when it blooms and it's beautiful and look 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 at this plant but it's also beautiful 
in the winter. So this lavender, being an angustifolia, it's uh, very frost resistant and it's probably going down to zone 5, I think because we are in 6B and we didn't have any problem whatsoever with the plant in the winter. So we didn't lost any of them. We have here eight plants and all of them survived. And this is in the fourth year here, but we had uh, the, the, the mother plant uh, home like for six years now and we didn't have any uh, problem and of course because it's a lavender it's very drought tolerant and you don't have to worry about watering you don't have to worry about problems in the winter and you don't have to worry even with pests or disease you know being a lavender the only disease that this plant can have is from too much water so this plant is suitable even for containers even for small gardens it's perfectly actually for small gardens if you don't want to buy a huge lavender like this uh, Miss Catherine in the back that is going to turn a little pink. I'm going to make a clip about this one too. But yes, that's about it, about this plant. If you have any questions, please post them in the comment section below. If you have any advices or uh, any experience with this plant, maybe more than me, please post them in the comment section below. Thank you for uh, watching this clip. If you like it, give it a like, share it with your friends. Maybe it helps. And of course, until next time, stay safe and grow plants. See you.